Okay, so hello to all the students. Uh, in today's brief video, we will learn how to use calculator to find out the area for normal distribution graphs. Okay. Now, before watching this video, I hope that you all are familiar with what the normal distribution is and how its graph looks like and what the properties of the graph are. If you draw a graph, let's say a diagram, this is a normally distributed curve and the Z value in center is zero. Now let's take an example and let's mark a Z value as one over here and let's shade this entire area. Okay. So, uh, in most of the questions, you are supposed to find out the value of the shaded area. Let's take three cases. This, let's say, is case number one, in which you need to find out the area to the left-hand side of Z is equals to one. Let's take case number two as well. And in case number two, for example, you have to find out the area between Z one and Z zero. And let's also take one more case in which you have to find out the area to the right hand side of Z is equals to one. Now, how will you do the calculations on a calculator? Okay. This is what we have to discuss. Yes, obviously you can use uh, the tables that are provided in the books to calculate the area under the normally distributed curve. But today our topic is how do we use a calculator to calculate the shaded area rather than using the tables. So what you will do is that uh, everyone can see a scientific calculator on the screen. So you will uh, switch this mode. This is in maths mode. Uh, you will go to mode. You press the mode key and press three for stat. Okay. And then press AC button. Now, if you check your calculator, it is in stats mode. You can see stat written on top of the screen as well. After that, you press shift key, which will give you a letter S on top and then press one. Why? Because if you check on one, you find written stat slash distribution. So you press one and then there are different op options which I have discussed in previous video lectures as well on my channel. So today's concern, today's uh, relevant topic is distribution. So you press five, which says dist distribution five. So you go for five. And then it will ask you P, Q, R, and T. So let's now check what P tells. You press one. Then the three cases that I have with me, case number one, case number two, case number three. What is case number one? Case number one is that you, I have to find the area to the left of Z is equals to one. So I, I have pressed the P key, I write one. I close the bracket and I press equals to. So this is 0 0.84134. This is telling me that the area to the left hand side of Z is equals to one. Probability Z less than or is equals to one or the area to the left hand side of Z is equals to one is 0 0.84134. Okay. So this is the first thing. If you have to find area to the left of Z is equals to one, you use this P. Now let's go to the second option, pressing AC to clear the screen, then shift and one, then five for distribution. Then let's go to Q, which is the second key. So I press two and then we are doing an example in which our Z value is one. So I press one, close the bracket and I press equals to. So this is 0 
थ्री फोर वन थ्री फोर नाउ दिस क्यू की विल टेल यू दी एरिया बिटवीन जेड जीरो एंड जेड वन एंड इट टेल्स यू दैट दिस एरिया इज जीरो पॉइंट थ्री फोर वन थ्री फोर ओके सो डू रिमेम्बर पी टेल्स पी ऑन कैलकुलेटर टेल्स यू area to the left hand side to of the value that you are putting in the calculator and q tells you the area between z is equals to 0 and the particular number that you put into the calculator also you can see that the difference between the two answers is 0.5 this is because area to the left hand side of z is equals to 0 is 0.5 Now let's go to the third key. You press A C. You press Shift and one, then five, then you press three for R. Then you again press one. In our example, our Z value is one. You close the bracket and you press equals to. So this comes out to be zero point one five eight six six. Now in this case, if you use key R, it will give you area to the right hand side. Of the z value that you have put into the bracket, so this area, the third example area, the area between, or the area which is z greater than or is equals to one, area to the right hand side of z is equals to one is zero point one five eight six six, and you can also see that area to the left hand side of the z and area to the right hand side of the z when added. Together will give you one zero point eight four one three four plus zero point one five eight six six is equals to one. So this is very important to learn, and you can rewatch the video to make yourself comfortable. I have used Z one as an example. You can use any number and calculate. Area to the left hand side of that particular value, area to the right hand side of that particular value, or area from zero to the value that you are putting it. There are three keys: P, Q, and R. Thank you so much for watching the video. I hope that it will be helpful to all who found calculating the area using the table very difficult. The normal table that we are provided. So yes, you can use the calculator and solve the questions as well. Thank you.